Good morning. <laughs> Welcome to the Sunflower News. This is Maggie and Dominic reporting the news. Today is Friday, April 1st, 2016. It is C-Day. Dominic, you don't look to be yourself today. Are you feeling okay? I feel a little lightheaded, but thanks for asking. We will be having charburger on a bun, corn, spicy apples, and milk today for lunch. It will be mostly sunny today with a high of 58 degrees. The weekend looks delightful. We will have sunny skies with highs around 70. Get out and enjoy the wonderful weather. Our watchdog today is Mr. Hyatt, John's dad. Thanks for helping us out today, Mr. Hyatt. We appreciate your help. Jeremiah Johnson is celebrating his birthday today. Have a great day, Jeremiah. As you know, today is April Fool's Day. Some people like it, and some people dread this day. It all started April 1st, 1700s. That was the day and year that most historians speculate this foolish day began. One of the first tricks recorded was to place a paper fish on someone's back. to symbolize a gullible person or one who easily got tricked. The day spread throughout Britain in the 18th century. In Scotland, it was a two-day event which involved hunting the guac or sending people on fake errands. Then the day after was called Taily Day. People would put fake tails or kick-me signs on gullible people. Sounds kind of mean to me. Glad that tradition didn't catch on in the United States. In 1957, the news in Britain reported that Swiss farmers were harvesting a record noodle crop. It even showed footage of farmers harvesting noodles from trees. Some global people fell for it. Some of the most classic pranks are carefully replacing the inside of an Oreo with toothpaste or lightly unscrewing the lid to the salt shaker. Of course, the lid comes off when someone goes to sprinkle a little salt on their food. Or the classic disabled remote control prank. This is when you set the TV to the channel you want to watch. Then remove the batteries. And when your brother or sister goes to change the channel, it doesn't work. You just smile and keep watching your favorite program. A word of warning to any of you that are getting some foolish ideas, though. Remember, those who prank others don't always have the last laugh. Now, please stand and face the flag while we say the Pledge of Allegiance. Place your right hand over your heart 